Hello and welcome back once again to Viking Whiskey. It's December 17th, one week to Christmas. So, uh, another one here in the Christmas calendar. Um, yesterday I had an amazing Laphroaig. So uh, today I uh, picked another Laphroaig. Um, I don't have as high hopes for this one, I have to admit. But it will be fun. It's a 14 year old. Um, bottled by Scotch Malt Whiskey Society and they chose to call this one A Bodega is Burning. So that sounds fairly ominous. Um, it was uh, matured in a refill uh, sherry cask um, and bottled at 60.4%. <sighs> These guys, they don't make life, life very easy for me, do they? Um, anyway, the details that I have are on the screen, right here. All right, light golden color. All right, um, smoke. Campfire, a bit of those wet embers that I'm not a fan of, um, a bit of sulfur, no, nah, not a bit, a lot of sulfur, uh, some varnish. And a little bit of dry fruit, but it's just very, very hot to nose past this wet campfire sulfur. Um, mm. Let's have a taste. Well, alcohol does have some bite, and it's surprisingly dry here from the onset. Mm. I immediately thought that it wasn't sweet enough, and that was it. That I was actually really, really not good, but um, here, as I chew it, it's it's actually not that bad. There is some sweetness to it. Obviously you have uh, those camphor band-aid notes, uh, the medicinal smoke. Um, there's this light sweetness, um, more of a caramel toffee sweetness, um, some barley, um, Not much else, but luckily also not a sulfur bomb. Mm. Second one. On the second chew, the sulfur does come out. Mm. And as it goes into the nose as well, it's very, very hard to ignore. Mm. It's a bit of a shame. There's a lot of other stuff going on that's exciting, but um, it's really hard to get down there with that sulfur. Mm. There is a light minerality and um, Mm. 
slightly beefy taste, sort of umami, meatish. Um, But I'm not really sold on it. There's this slight bitter note um, with that sulfur. Uh, well, it's definitely not a pleaser. Mm. Last one. Third two is a little fuller, oilier, definitely more aggressive on the tongue, drier, um, smoke is really intense, mm. there is some sweetness like a, now it's more like a cooked vegetable sweetness, it's, it's there but it's not really prominent. Um, Got light notes of kerosene. Um, there's something slightly perfumed like lavender. Hmm. Oh, that's actually quite a good dose of brine. Oh, yeah. I missed that in the beginning. It's been there all along. Um, but yeah, it is actually quite briny. Um, not too many of those red embers on the palate, but um, sulfur notes are, hmm, are a bit too much. On the finish, you're left with peat smoke, uh, burnt twigs, still a bit of those red embers. Um, Granite, Flintstones, um, very strong espresso. Hmm. Even a little hint of that, something like uh, Italian grappa, um, Sort of starting to show a bit of grape skin bitterness. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, the Lafrag I had yesterday was up there with the best uh, whiskies in the world. This one is not. Um, so, rating it, I'm gonna say the nose. Uh, is uh, 78. Taste wise, I'm gonna go and say 74. It was not really great. Um, the finish is also not really doing a lot of good stuff for me. So 76. Average, 76. All right. Thanks so much for checking in on this one. I do hope to see you again tomorrow on the 18th. We're getting closer to Christmas. Cheers.